Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover the seven propulsion factors that let Brahmos jump from standstill to Mach 2.8 within seconds, revealing how this missile stays one of the fastest in the world. It begins with a specialized dual engine architecture. Brahmos uses two completely different engines working together. The first stage, is a solid propellant rocket booster. The second stage is a liquid-fueled ramjet engine. The booster accelerates the missile rapidly to supersonic speeds. Once speed is achieved, the booster separates and the ramjet takes over. This two-stage approach optimizes speed from launch until impact. Moving to the second factor, this system creates explosive acceleration right from launch. At launch, the solid propellant booster ignites with tremendous force. This stage accelerates the 2.8-ton missile from zero to nearly Mach 2.8 very rapidly. Solid propellant burns very quickly, providing enormous initial thrust. The acceleration happens in seconds, not minutes. Once the missile reaches optimal supersonic cruise speed, the booster separates and falls away. After booster separation, the liquid-fueled ramjet engine takes over. This engine works differently than traditional rockets. It uses incoming air compressed by the missile's forward speed. The ramjet burns liquid fuel in this compressed air. This air-breathing approach provides continuous thrust, maintaining Mach 2.8 speed. Moving forward, this air-breathing design cuts significant weight. The ramjet engine breathes air as it flies forward. It does not carry all its oxygen in the fuel tanks like rockets do. This eliminates tremendous weight compared to pure rocket propulsion. Lighter weight means more efficient flight and greater range. The 500-kilometer range depends on this air-breathing efficiency. Next, we move on to the aerodynamic design factor. The missile has only 70-centimeter diameter and sleek profile. This slim design reduces air resistance during supersonic flight. Less drag means less fuel required to maintain speed. The wings span 1.7 meters, providing stability at Mach 2.8. Aerodynamic efficiency directly enables sustained supersonic cruise. Furthermore, lightweight composite materials allow faster acceleration. The supersonic cruise missile uses composite materials instead of heavy metals in many components. This reduces total missile weight, enabling faster acceleration. Lighter weight also means the ramjet engine expends less fuel maintaining speed. The overall structure weighs only 2.8 tons, despite carrying a 200 kilogram warhead. Additionally, high fuel efficiency extends the missile's range. The ramjet engine burns fuel very efficiently at supersonic speeds. Air breathing eliminates oxygen weight. Efficient combustion minimizes fuel waste. This combination extends range to 500 kilometers in current versions and future variants to 800 kilometers. No other cruise missile achieves this speed range combination. Finally, the speed creates a massive kinetic energy advantage. The missile travels almost four times faster than Tomahawk cruise missiles. At Mach 2.8, kinetic energy is 32 times greater than Tomahawk. Speed 3,430 km per hour means tremendous impact force. Even without a warhead, this speed delivers devastating damage. No air defense system can react quickly enough to intercept. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.